here with Crafty Ladybug. This lesson is going to be on the Loomless Candy Corn. This candy corn is super easy and super fast. It uses two white rubber bands, three orange rubber bands, and five yellow rubber bands. If you'd like to take a moment, pause the video here and set up your work area as I have. It may make following along with this video a little easier. That's a single white and a single white, two orange, and a single orange, three yellow, a single yellow, and a single yellow to tie it off. Take a moment, set up your area, and then come back and we will be ready to go and make some loomless candy corn. While you're getting straight, if you didn't hit pause, you can hear me talk for just a moment. You can also turn your loomless candy corn into the loomless ring. I have another video on my channel that explains how to do that. And also another video showing you how to take three of the loomless candy corn and turn it into a candy corn style of bracelet with the white beam in the center, the orange, and then the yellow as a candy corn would be. So check out those other items on my channel. They are just so cute and I can't wait for Halloween to get here so I can give them out to my trick-or-treaters. Okay, now we're gonna begin our loomless candy corn. The first thing you need to do is to pick up a single white and wrap it around your hook four times. I do that by piercing through the center and I call that number one. Twist and there's number two. Twist and there's number three. And twist, there's number four. So I have placed a basically a four time cat band on my hook. I'm going to take another single white I'm going to stretch it out and twist it around my fingers. You need to then pull that through those four, that four twist band, and now we're going to reclaim it back on our hook. This is the point of our candy corn. So you should have something that looks much like this. Our next step is to take two orange rubber bands, and we're going to pull that through the set of bands that we have on our hook and we're going to reclaim. Straightening up and placing that in the center. Now this next step is a little tricky and might be a little complicated for some of you, but you will eventually get it. Take your hook again with the item right here, which you already have on your hook, and you're gonna take a single orange band and wrap it around three times. There's number one, there's number two, and there's number three. So we want it to look like there are three bands on our hook. Over here, we want to take this set of looping and we're going to just push the three bands at three twist into the center. So you should have two bands, the three times twist, and then the two bands again. Our next step is to take three yellow and we're going to pull everything we have on our hook through onto that. And then we're going to reclaim again. Reclaim that yellow back on your hook. Now I need to get a three time twist band again in the center, much like we did for the orange. You're going to take a single yellow and you're going to wrap it around your hook three times. So here we have our three time cat band again on our hook. I'm going to pick up this first side of what I reclaimed and I'm going to push through that yellow and squeeze it in between my creation as so. That part might be a little tricky for you but once you get it they are so easy and quick to make. Take your single yellow that you have left and we're going to pull that through everything. And this is actually our securing band. So you want to slip knot that off. And here we have our loomless candy corn. How simple was that? Now, I want you guys to turn it into your earrings and your ring and your bracelets. Then I want you to post your creations on my Facebook page at Crafty Ladybug Rainbow Loom Creations or hashtag me on Instagram at Crafty Ladybug. Visit me on the web www.craftyladybugcreations.com. Show me your stuff, guys. I can't wait to see it. Thanks.